Today we're going to be going back to a very weird, difficult, and interesting time of my life that was all captured in my Diary of Whoopi Kid do-it-yourself book from about 2011. So this is like 10 years later and this book is very important to me. I took it to first grade and all of my friends and everybody in first grade, even the teachers, knew me as the kid with the Diary of Whoopi Kid book. So yes, this book is filled with memories, it's filled with autographs and messages from my friends from first grade and it, and it is also filled with my story of uh, a very rough difficult childhood but you know what i'm gonna talk about it right now on the internet so let's go read my diary of wimpy kid do it yourself book right now 10 years later so first off here's the cover where they let you use your own little uh picture here so this is just first grade year old me in my bedroom right here that I drew. There's the cheese, the infamous cheese, the cheese touch. Ten years later, this is me from first grade, you know, look at me, looking pretty cool. I think there's a backpack on that. And uh, pretty standard now, a little, a little thing here. This was my friend from first grade who uh, you're gonna learn later on in this video, but uh, he was the annoying kid. Uh, but but uh, here we are, so your desert island picks. So my favorite games right here are still pretty accurate to this day. Super Smash Bros. Melee, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and Super Smash Bros. The N64 version. It's all Smash Bros. Songs is, uh, there's only one, it's Chicken Hawk. If you don't know what Chicken Hawk is, then that's totally understandable. Because this was a random one-off song that they did in the Looney Tunes Cartoon Network show. I see some other stuff. It looks like Spongebob Goofy Goofy Rock. You probably know that. And this says Michael Jackson, because I was a big Michael Jackson fan when I was a kid. I erased these two things for some reason. And then books are Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Spongebob, just straight up Spongebob, and My Journal, which is this book. Movies are the Spongebob movie, still my favorite movie, to this day. Diary of a Wimpy Kid 1, Diary of Wimpy Kid 2, and a fourth one I added was Hop, that really bad Easter movie. Personality test. My favorite animal is a dog. They're cute and playful. My favorite color is gold. I was a fancy kid, right? And my favorite movie is Space Jam. How that age? Because Space Jam is, is actually coming back for another movie. So, wow. Here we go. Unfinished comics. Do you like Crazy Frog? It is annoying. Zooey Mama. <laughs> Crazy Frog. You, you can tell I was an internet kid even back then. Make your own comments. Oh gosh, what what is this weird stuff? Okay, well, I'm gonna skip over that. I didn't fill this out. Uh, predict your future. You will live in a mansion. Uh, well, uh, not yet, but maybe one day. I had high hopes for my future. I will live in a city. That sounds about right. I'll have no kids. Sounds about right. I'll have a dog. I'll be whatever I want. That definitely sounds about right. And my salary will be $1 million a year. Yeah, I definitely had some high standards as I colored in my own Greg Heffley here. I was I was very creative. I was very, uh, you know, definitely creative. Oh, and uh, here's that mansion. We have the arcade right here. We have the toy room, which is pretty cool. I still collect toys to this day. Here's a pizza room. I guess just for making pizza, I guess. Here's an indoor pool, because who doesn't have an indoor pool? And then there's a hot tub right here. There's a very specific 92-inch plasma TV. And then there's the SpongeBob room, because who doesn't like SpongeBob? Still to this day, SpongeBob is my favorite, so I have not changed much in, in 10 years. A lot of this I didn't fill out, but here we go. Look at this, more comments. My name is Eugene. You are ugly. <laughs> yeah, poop. Shoot. Five-star comments, five-star storytelling. I should be hired by Hollywood. Oh gosh, here's some more comments, just more poop jokes, because back when I was a kid, poop was the funniest thing ever. Your favorites and your least favorites. Let's see how much this has changed. So, my favorite show is Looney Tunes. I mean, it's a classic, right? I crossed this out because I don't really like sports. Favorite food is pizza, yes. Favorite celebrity is Charlie Sheen. That's right, I was in first grade and I was watching Two and a Half Men, so my favorite celebrity back then was Charlie Sheen. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> My favorite store was Toys R Us. Pretty cool. Rest in peace, Toys R Us. My favorite soda was root beer. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good soda. My favorite superhero is Super Mario. <laughs> well, I mean, I know he's Super Mario, but I don't really know if he's a superhero. My favorite game system was the GameCube. That's pretty cool. Comet Strip is SpongeBob. That's weird. I, I guess I had the SpongeBob comics. 
Favorite magazine was Mad. Yes, Mad Magazine is awesome. And favorite car is, uh, I think it says Mercedes, but I don't know how to spell that. That's really weird, because I don't have a favorite car, even to this day. It's funny. Uh, stuff has just been crossed out here. My least favorite food is cheese. I don't like cheese on my burgers, but like I like pizza, which has cheese. It's really weird. My least favorite store is Girl Stores. <laughs> My least favorite soda is Pepsi. Uh, okay, yeah, I never like Pepsis. My least favorite game system is the Xbox. Well, I've grown to like Xboxes. And my least favorite car is a motorcycle, okay. More comics that uh, don't make sense. Do you know how to skate? Scat? Yes. No, you interrupt me. <laughs> what? More comments. Um, it's, a, it's a really strong guy beating up somebody. And here's a guy, he gets shoved down by the big guy, and he laughs, and then something over here happens, and uh, he kills the guy! He kills the buff guy! He's dead! Look, he buried him underground! Three months later, I'm buried alive! He buried a guy alive, in the and then here's a little worm that says hi. So I, I'm, I'm over here writing comments about dudes killing people, and I definitely did not fill out a lot of these. Here's another comment. Of a dude trying to shave, he said, la, 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 la. The fart police come in and say, fart police, you're under arrest. It was my sink, haha. Sinks don't fart. It was you. Dang, you, you just exposed that poor man. He was just trying to shave and you exposed him. The egg that wanted to be famous. I'm going to be famous. He jumps off with a parachute off of, off of a cliff. He says, oh no, concrete. And he cracks and dies. Dang, dude, I was a dark kid. I mean, but there is the autograph. So this is really cool because a lot of poor kids, when they were doing these books, they didn't have friends to have this, right? But since I took this book to school and since all my friends, even the teachers knew that I was the diary of a wimpy kid, kid, I got all my friends to fill this stuff out here. So here we got Kyle, my best friend. He is my best friend. We have Luke, my other friend. You are my best friend. We have Giovanna, a cool girl that I used to talk to in first grade. She said that I am awesome with an O. Megan, this was my crush. So I had a lot of balls in first grade that I went up to my crush and I asked her to fill out my book. And she said, you are nice. Uh, spoiler alert, she found out I had a crush on her and she did not like me back. So she's probably just like, um, you're nice. That's all I gotta say about you. <laughs> Cannon. You are cool. Yeah, we'll learn about him here in a minute. Brock, you are awesome. Cameron, and I erased it because he, he was the kid that we just didn't, we didn't like. Olivia, so let's see, I erased it. Olivia said, you love Megan. So here's Megan right here. Olivia was a girl who very clearly had a crush on me, but I had a crush on Megan. So Olivia found out and she was jealous and she was mad. So she wrote, you love Megan. So uh, she tried to expose me on my own journal, but luckily I erased it, so nobody knew. We got somebody here, which just, oh, you love Megan. So it's probably the same girl, Olivia, who had a crush on me. I regret not getting with Olivia, because she was very nice. Megan didn't like me, but Olivia did. Why didn't I get with Olivia, you idiot? Gracie, cool. Chloe, you are nice. I don't, I don't remember these people very much. But uh, yes, I was probably just asking random people to, uh, right in my journal. But yes, here we go, guys. The infamous and legendary story, very impactful in my life. Uh, I definitely look back to this time of my life and I remember the good and the bad, but the good of it was this stuff right here. So this is my uh, diary. I wanted to make it look like the one in the movie, so I crossed out the of A and I crossed this out and I colored it red and I made it just like the way that Greg Heffley would in the movies. In the title, it's not clickbait. I really did have a pretty rough childhood. It's in the past now, and you're gonna see just a little bit of it through the eyes of me, literally writing down everything through this uh, story right here. And I need to have a little bit of names anonymous. My life should be turned into a movie. My parents split up, and my dad got with a stripper, and my mom got with a one criminal. I'm not gonna reveal anybody's names, I can't. Here we go, this is the little preview page of me drawing some cool stuff. So first page right here. Well, first off, this is not a diary, it's a journal. I took that straight from Diary of a Whoopie Kid, but here's me looking at the school for first grade. So this is me going into first grade. So I got this book in 2010, 
Now it's 2011, so today I got to see Diary of a Webby Kid 2. So this is me going to the movie theaters to see the second Webby Kid movie. Today I got the cheese from Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and I had the cheese touch. Oh, the cheese touch. You don't want to have the cheese touch. So I touched my dog, Duke. So I, I gave the cheese touch to my dog. Oh, wow. Way to rat your dog out, bro. Jeez. Um, so here's me trying to grab that cheese because I didn't want to get the cheese touch. I'm going to see Hop today, which is the movie. At the movie, there's me sitting here, and then there was a kid here who was like nonstop just making noise throughout the whole movie. And this is the kid's mom telling him to shush. It's kind of funny. A temporary stepdad got the cheese touch. He's not really my stepdad, but he was the criminal I'm telling you about. And this is, oh gosh. Okay, so if you guys thought this is just going to be a little sweet story, it's really not. So uh, this is uh, this is my criminal stepdad and my mom playing. Now, it's not what it looks like. So they were really just playing around in the bed. This is me saying stop. And this is also me knowing that the criminal step that had the cheese touch. And then this is him throwing me. Yeah, he, he did throw me on the bed, but I promise it was not, you know, I know he's a criminal, but he, it, it was not violent. This was all playing. And then I hid in the bathroom and I looked under the door. And I saw, it's not what it looks like, okay? I guess the dog scared away the criminal step that. I don't, I don't know. I called my dad. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So Luke hit me with a bag of jelly beans. This kid who I was friends with, who you saw his autograph earlier, he hit me with a bag of jelly beans in the cafeteria and they and they flew all over the place. Like it was like a Ziploc bag and he hit me with it and then the jelly beans went everywhere. It was it was actually kind of funny. I hit Cameron with a ball two times. This was PE class where we were playing. It was kind of like dodgeball, but it was like for elementary school kids. And this is Cameron singing in the hallway. So poor Cameron. I really just buried Cameron throughout this whole book. So Cameron was just singing in the hallway. Here's me and my best friend Kyle just kind of laughing at him and just thinking that he's weird. And then there's uh, this girl named Gracie, I guess. I don't remember much from her, but she was there. I don't think she played that much of a big role. Giovanna hit me. So Giovanna was that girl who I was pretty good friends with. And she randomly hit me one day. And then I got home. The dog still has the cheese touch. Oh no. Oh, and then look at this. The dog is confused and I'm picking up something off the ground. Okay. Um, this is me trying to battle the dog with the cheese touch. And then the dog attacks me. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then this is me versus my dog in a match. Pretty cool little, obviously I wasn't actually hitting my dog. I was just like having a little fun with the dog. And as proof of that, this is 10 years ago. This dog is still alive and well. I ran into the restroom and this is just me doing my business. And I had to write about it in my journal, you know, cause that's just, that's just what we do here. And this is me in the bathroom thinking back to the time when I got locked out of my house in my underwear, which is the real thing that happened. <laughs> oh, look at this. I was playing SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. So I had SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom on the GameCube. Which is so cool because the game recently got remastered on current consoles. So that's so cool that my childhood is just coming back. It's really cool. I took the cheese touch from Duke and gave it to my fish. So I took the cheese touch from my dog and, and gave it to my pet fish. How do you give the cheese touch to your pet fish? I really don't know. But, you know, that's just what I did. That's just what I did. I think, I think I'm going to my dad's house this Sunday and my friend is coming over. Okay, pretty cool. So this is me, this is me uh, doing something right here. I did not go to my dad's work, I went to the house. Okay, so this is my dad's house. So we're in my dad's house right now. So the stripper had this big dog who was like kind of mean, but not really. And me and the stripper's son, Cannon, we, um, we had like a little rivalry with my other dog, Spongy, who was at my dad's house. And they had like a little match between the two dogs. It was pretty cool. And I think uh, coming up here, this is uh, us going up the stairs. We're being chased by the really big dog. And this is me throwing a toy at the big dog when me and Cannon went up to our bunk beds to hide from the dog. That's pretty funny, guys. I promise there's no abuse in this. And I know it seems really weird. Keep in mind that I was in first grade. I was probably eight years old when I made this book. So it's not what it looks like. I know this is like really weird, but, th but this is the content that you guys wanted. So here we go. Um, 
So this is us running away from the dog. Typical kid's imagination, right? And this is me uh, stepping on glass. And my dad helped me. So yes, I, I, I stepped on some glass at my dad's house and I was like bleeding. So this is my dad and the stripper girlfriend uh, in bed and she asked me and Cannon to go get her a drink. But what we did was we kind of like, we kind of spiked the drink. We basically just like mixed a bunch of drinks and then we, and then we gave it to her. She kind of knew something was up. But it was just kind of funny that we would literally play pranks on her. It was just great. It was really funny. And uh, the next day of school, uh, here's my teacher right here, Miss Gigi. She was the funnest teacher ever. Definitely one of my favorite teachers ever. And she let me have this book during class and she was so cool about it. This is back at home with the dog about to touch the cheese. Don't get the cheese touch. Don't get it. And then my dog got the cheese touch and I had to hide from my dog. And here we go, so this is good first grade memories. I went outside and the girls chased me, Kyle and Carson. So the girls were chasing me and my two friends trying to read our diaries. <laughs> you gotta love childhood, man. Even though I had a really rough childhood, I still just look back to moments like this. One of the girls, I stabbed her with a pencil and, the, and I got in trouble by the teacher. But then she also got in trouble too for trying to read my uh, diary, so. And, and this is me sitting next to one of the girls and the girls was trying to read my diary. Yes, the first grade, man. It was definitely one of my favorites, if not my f number one favorite um, school year ever. Cause like I had girls chasing me trying to read my diary. I had girls that had a crush on me. Now this is my uh, criminal stepdad reading my journal. So let's be honest, while I didn't like him, in reality, I purposely planted the book there so he could read it, so I could write about it. So I was like planning out content for this book. Every time there's any sort of diary of Olympic kid books in this, I always color them in. This is back at home, jumping on my criminal stepdad. So I literally just jumped on him and it was kind of funny because you know, I didn't like my step parents. Today, I went to the mall and got a pet bunny and I named him EB, which is the name of the character from Hop. So let's just say I was a big Hop fan and I got a pet bunny. We got the bunny to the house. So I brought my pet bunny to the house, pretty cool. At recess, we, ch we tried to get the pinches under the surer but Jackson stopped us. Oh, okay, so we tried to get something out of the sewer, but some kid named Jackson, I guess he was one of those like teacher's pets. I guess Jackson stopped us. I don't know what we were trying to get. It says, oh, pencils. We were trying to get pencils from under the sewer because I guess some pencils were in the sewer, I guess. Today I had to sit out at PE, so I read my journal and there is the color. So I sat out because I accidentally wore flip-flops and if you wore flip-flops, you couldn't play at PE. So today was the best day ever. I did a egg drop and had donuts in the morning and at recess I got popcorn. Yeah, so if you guys ever done the egg drop project at school, so basically you made a little parachute for an egg and the teacher would climb up a ladder and then drop your egg and you would hope that it would not crack. And this is really cool right here. So that really cool teacher, I love that teacher. She let me keep this. So this was off of the egg drop project and she let me cut it out and keep it and now I taped it to the journal and here it is. Today is Good Friday and, and I am going to Kyle's house. So I went to Kyle's house and I remember it was really fun because he had some other friends there and we had a big water slide in the backyard and we were just like having water fights. It was really fun. So here's Kyle's brother and his friend and then there's me and some kid named Caden, and there's me and Kyle throwing some kid off the top of the of the water slide. You know, man, these are just some good childhood memories here. And there's some more stuff from the water slide. And the next day was Easter, and I went to my grandma's house. And then there's the book, always colored in. And I remember this one, this, this one's kind of funny. So I took my rabbit to the grandma's house, and the bunny rabbit peed on my grandma. My bunny rabbit peed on my grandma. It was pretty funny. It was actually pretty funny. This is a, uh, you know, rough childhood right here. This is my mom and my dad arguing and I, I wrote about it, yeah. Dang, dude. Like, as good as my childhood was, it, it, it was also very rough. So, today I'm going to see Rio. So Rio was a, a cool little movie about birds, I think. And I missed school today because 
I stayed up all night playing SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. My mom had lunch with a friend, so I had Crazy Frog songs. Okay, so this is uh, me having to eat lunch with my mom's friend, and I was playing Crazy Frog on the phone at the table. That's hilarious. And then while I was at the dinner table, I literally took one of those kids' menus and I drew the Diary of a Wimpy Kid characters, which I was I was actually pretty good at uh, drawing the characters, actually. These look pretty accurate to uh, the actual books. At school in independent reading, Miss Gigi said that we can't work on our journal. Oh, that sucks. The teacher was trying to tell us that we had to read real books and we couldn't just read our journals. That's pretty funny. When Criminal Stepdad looked at my journal, I thought, oh no, he's gonna punch me, but he didn't. I was totally fine. Today, I was watching Fish Hooks. Fish Hooks is a, um, it's a, it's a really bad show on Disney XD, I, I'm pretty sure. I took a shower. I paused the shower button, warm water. Oh, I, I pushed the shower button to the warm water, I think. I, I think it was like too hot, I guess. I know, I didn't know, how, I did not know how to spell or write. I had ideas for my next journal. I'm gonna call it Diary of Wimpy Kid, My Dog Rules. <laughs> it's parody of, of Roger Rules, but it was My Dog Rules. That's actually pretty funny. It was a school night and you can see me just being tired because I, I would stay up late on school nights all the time. I was watching TV till four in the morning on a school night. Yeah, because I didn't have a bedtime. I had pretty cool parents where I didn't have to do bedtime. And look, five in the morning I was watching TV. Dang, dude. That is like not smart at all. And then there's me going into bed, taking off all of my clothes and jumping in the bed. <laughs> this video is gonna get age restricted or something, man. This is like messed up, dude. I went to sleep, yeah. And then I was dreaming about being chased by the cheese touch guy. That's, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I was gonna buy a new journal, but I did not. Yeah, so that was when I was gonna buy another uh, book to do part two, actually. So I was gonna make this like a whole line of books. This is, this is me shooting my dog with a toy gun, I guess. This is me looking out the window, being sad, I guess. I don't know. Pretty uh, interesting. Don't really know the context behind this. Oh, and then the, and this is me staying up all night. Kyle is going to be surprised when he sees this, but I'm at the Fart Police page. Yes, the pages um, had like these little characters right here. And me and Kyle were big fans of the Fart Police. So I was at the Fart Police page. Yes, here it is. I made it to this page. Pretty cool. My mom is playing my DS. Weird. Or wired. <laughs> Pretty funny. This is almost the end of the school year. It's May, and May 19th is my birthday. Nice, nice. Today, I am going to get my new journal, which I did. I was watching Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I drew it uh, in the font, like in the movies. My new journal is going to be blue. And then this is the end of of my journal. And it's also the end of an era because after that school year ended, I moved schools. About the author. So I have two dogs and I was born in Texas and a bunny. <laughs> okay, I have a journal. Here's everybody who was in the book. I'm gonna cover up some names here, but there's me, Kyle Cannon, Cameron, Miss Gigi, my teacher, mom, dad, criminal stepdad, uh, shipper, stepmom, uh, Spongy, which is my other dog, Duke, my other dog, E.B., which is my bunny rabbit, my grandma, Luke, Miss Cox, another teacher in first grade, Carson, Gracie, another Gracie, the cheese, and Giovanna. And that is the end of my Diary of a Wimpy Kid do-it-yourself book. What a story this told. So many memories, and it was very impactful in my life. So like I said, I did buy another book right here, which was the Roger Rules parody, which is my dog rules. So at the end of this, it was the end of the school year, and, you know, if I didn't have all my friends at school and my uh, real life issues with my step parents, everything got fixed. So there wasn't much content in this one. So this one doesn't really have cool stories in it like this one did. So this one's very special to me. So special that about maybe eight, nine years later, I bought this book, which was like really modern. And it's supposed to be like my comeback story, which is only like two years ago when I bought this one. And uh, I'm still I'm still writing it, you know, just as a little uh, throwback. But um, diary of a comeback story. Yes, guys, those were the do it yourself diary of a wimpy kid books. So one more thing that's really cool is my yearbook from when this story took place. I'm gonna cross out the school because you guys don't need to know that. But I think it's really cool because here's a picture right here 
of my best friend Kyle and I holding our books. I think it's very special that the yearbook uh, put this in here because uh, this is literally me as I was writing this story. Here's me right here holding the books with my best friend Kyle and we're like holding the books up. It's really cool. It was very special that they put this in the yearbook. So thank you to whoever made this yearbook and put that in there. It's uh, really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. It's very unique. It's a it's a, it's a a unique story that uh, you wouldn't really expect. I was a weird kid and I'm still a weird adult man as well. So thank you guys for watching. I have two other channels called SMF Wrestling and Super Mario Fan Locks, which are pretty well known. If you know me from there, this is the official vlog channel for me, Fan Locks. And if you don't know me, if you've never heard of me, well, hi, I'm Fanlox and I make vlog videos and I make videos like this, posting weekly videos every Wednesday as of right now until further notice, my schedule is new vlog every Wednesday. So thank you guys for watching and um, share your stories of if you had this book, post down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. This is a long video. I have to edit this now. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Fanlox and peace out.